Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 11th PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about uh, SmartArt and how to use that in PowerPoint. So the easiest way to do this is to um, just take a blank slide. I'm going to go ahead and do a new slide. And then if you have a template uh, page worked out where you have an insert SmartArt, SmartArt graphic, that's probably the easiest way. You can just click on it. Or of course you can go, if you had um, a blank slide, you can go under Insert and then do Smart Art. But we're going to go ahead and do it like this for right now. Insert Smart Art. And then what comes up is you'll notice you have several categories over here. You have all of them. You have uh, List, Processes, Cycles, Hierarchies, Relationships, Matrix, and Pyramids. So with that said, let's go ahead and do a... Uh, we'll do a process. All right, so you can do do them lots of different ways. You can do them, uh, for example, you can do a timeline like this, and then you can fill in the text, and you can add bullets and delete bullets. But I, I, uh, let me change it. I'm going to change it to. Let me do the process one again, and I'll do this one here, an upward arrow. So let's just assume this is a, uh, I don't know, computer programming. So what are the main steps? We'll, we'll, we'll make these up. Design. Click on this one. Uh, let's see. Test. Implement. And now say that's not enough bullet points. So what I can do is under design here I have several options here. I can go to add shape and if I click it here it will add it for me. Now one thing to note is if I wanted to insert it say before this step I could highlight that step and say add shape and do the pull down and say add shape before and it would add it there. I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to make this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, little tab here, or you can click right here under the design tab and click text pane and it will bring it up. And then uh, let's see, so we'll say um, implement and we'll just say maintenance and we'll leave it at that for right now. Okay. So you can add as many as you want. Of course, you need to keep in mind what fits logically on the screen and, and in your slide and so forth. Um, if you wanted to change this, I could, uh, sorry, I could click it and I could go up here and change it to this format or this format or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of those and leave it like this for right now and just show you a couple things uh, quick things that you can do with these so I showed you how to add shapes um, depending on what your smart art is you'll have different options highlighted up here like add bullet instead of add shape um, different layout options so you can play with these and, and experiment to see what you like and don't like uh, you can change colors of it so we'll go ahead and change it to green yeah, that doesn't look too good. Let me make it darker green. Uh, we'll change it to something that contrasts a little bit more. Let me go back and do. Let's see here. I'll just leave it like that for right now. So, actually, I'm sorry. Let me go to. Let's make it blue, might look good. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. And then you have styles right that you can change you'll change the bullet points and the text and everything okay so the other thing you can do is go under format and now you have several options so let's assume that you don't like the the text you can go here and change the text color to be whatever color you'd like so let's just make it uh, let's make it black for right or dark now we'll make it dark blue almost black for right now okay and then you can do lots of different things over here such as text effects reflection shadow um, text fill so let's go over here for a minute and do 
Let's just change that to black. Okay, again, and then um, you could change the style. Click the little pull down here, and you can do lots of different options here. Okay, and it will. You can see it's previewing it on the screen. I'm just going to leave it as is for right now. And then the other thing you can do is do things like shape fill. Right. Let's go in and change. Go down to these. Uh, go down to the gradient options, and you can see what will happen on the screen. I'm going to leave it as that. You could change the background, the texture of it. You know, so you could do whatever you wanted to do to clean it up or to uh, m make it appear, uh, you know, fit into your presentation a little bit better. So those are the couple things I wanted to show you um, with inserting SmartArt. And there's numerous options there. I think I'm going to come back and do another tutorial where we're going to do an organization chart, which seems to be um, a real popular item to do. But one more thing that I want to show you is you can also highlight text. You see I have a pretty simple lit list here. <coughs> Excuse me. A list. Um, but what I can do is I can right click it and say insert or sorry convert to SmartArt and I can go to I'll do a list here for example. Um, let me do let me try this one. Okay. So you see what it does is create two main sections and then underneath that it creates the subheadings. Okay, this one doesn't have any. But you can change it to whatever you want to, right? So I could go up over here and I could try... Now yeah, let's, let's just check out a few. Okay, so you could change it to this one. So you can modify this and again, once you have the shape, now you can go on over here and you can clean it up, you can edit it, you can change the colors, you can do lots and lots of different things to it. The text pane is uh, is brings it up rather than trying to edit it on the screen and then if I came up over here I could go let's see I could hit demote and it would add a heading right here so and I'll say ribbon overview I'll just say ribbon All right, if I hit enter it'll put one there okay so that's what I want to share with you today. Uh, please subscribe and thanks for joining.